Hi, uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne, uh, Michael Ben Jackson. Uh, this one, my t shirt, do the new thing. And, um, this is going to be a prophetic blueprint uh, for Tyrus. And I uh, hope it blesses you, buddy. Um, I had a bit of an attack, sort of, with my dreams. Uh, and uh, I was told to get up. But the spiritual realm, someone uh, reached out and said, it's time to get up, you're just getting attacked now. And even as I prepared this blueprint, I, I was attacked with, uh, this isn't right, this isn't true. Uh, you've totally missed it here. And uh, I don't often miss it. Uh, I don't often get things wrong. Um, you know, uh, I know that uh, Shane, uh, cares a lot for you, and uh, I feel, feel the Holy Spirit would get things wrong. Um, now, now, some of this, uh, some of this, um, you know, you may not feel, you may not have recognised, but um, I'm going to go through it uh, line by line, and uh, and I'm going to type it out, put it in the description tag so you can see it. Um, I feel that uh, I've captured. Uh, a good part of uh, who who you are, and, uh, and I hope that uh, this uh, manifests uh, in the future with you. So I'm going to have some more issues. Uh, if you've uh, come onto YouTube, you've seen this. This is like um, like uh, a scroll that uh, is written for you before you leave heaven, um, <clears throat> come down here to earth. <coughs> it's like a template. Some of the rules, some of the things that God has planned for you uh, when you come down here. And uh, so, uh, so I've got uh, 10 things here and uh, they're very much aligned with who I am, um, and uh, and except one of them, the intercessor. Uh, so um, you know, the enemy really wants to play on me and say, you know, this totally isn't right. But I don't think it's, he, he's right. I think I think we're right, and and uh, that's one of the reasons uh, for the attack. So the first thing I saw for you is a is a teacher, one of the fivefold ministries, the teaching gift. And uh, what I saw is uh, that you break it down simpler for people, taking the complex and making it simple. And I can see you doing this through YouTube, uh, through online articles like a blog post, and eventually books as you've got finances. <coughs> Unless someone professionally pu publishes you, you know, it takes about two two thousand uh, 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 New Zealand dollars to get a good editor and self-publish a book. So books cost a bit of money, but YouTube doesn't cost any money, and writing articles doesn't cost you any money. So what am I saying? Then? I'm saying that um, you have the ability, and Shane will agree with you uh, when you when he watches this that. Um, you have the ability to uh, shine like Ian Clayton. I, I don't know if you do, but um, you could probably go and watch the mean Clayton and uh, understand what he's saying, and then uh, then you're able to repackage that and break it down for other people uh, into simpler terms for for them to understand. Um, you could take something I teach, uh, really profound, and uh, and break it down simpler. I, I try and uh, break things down. I've got this gift of taking complex things and, and breaking it down simply. And, um, and uh, I'm going to turn this music off. Uh, uh, I feel that maybe distracting you. I sort of got the sense from the Holy Spirit as you're watching this, uh, it was distracting you. So um, <clears throat> it's the first time I've done that. Uh, so, um, so, you know, uh, the parables of Jesus are complex. Uh, the parables of Jesus are very profound. And uh, 
they've got very deep uh, meanings. I think there's five parables of Jesus that pretty well say that Christians can go to hell, like uh, the sheep and the goats, uh, the uh, prodigal son, the older son didn't go into the party, uh, the wise and foolish virgins, uh, the parable of the talents, the guy that hid his talent was thrown into the outer darkness. So there's about five. Um, so there's a lot of uh, complex subjects um, that uh, need breaking down to be simpler. And, and that's what you do. You, you do that naturally. You, you, you just... You, you just start to process something complex and make it simpler. And I, I think you just do it in your conversation, in your Christian conversation that you have with people. You just uh, uh, talk simply and you break things down simply. Um, you're a lot like me in that, or, you know, I'm maybe assuming something, but I'm thinking the best communication is simple communication. People who, who use big words don't impress me. They actually annoy me. And if they continue to use big words, I don't even listen to what they say. I don't care who they are. And, uh, and uh, it seems that people that go to university try and use bigger and bigger words for each other. I think they they just use the big words to impress each other. I don't think it's a better form of communication at all. Um, so I can see you uh, starting a YouTube channel uh, and uh, writing articles. Uh, articles that writing is hard for me. Um, most of my books were dictated and typed up, um, not so much uh, written. And, uh, and you'll find that um, you may uh, go through some of my books. Uh, there's 55 of them. Pick one or two of them and read them and see that they're profound, but also simple. And uh, that's what the Lord wants you to do. Now, if you only did this one out of the 10, you would have done a great thing. Right? Uh, if you only did this one, you would have done a tremendous thing okay number two uh you already this that this this happens to you uh, but uh it's mentioned in the bible that the lord is a strong tower and uh the lord has made you into this strong tower um <clears throat> psalm 1 3 says and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water who's who's, who's who, who gives forth fruit in a season whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prosper. This idea of this big tree with fruit uh, is the strong tower. People, uh, birds come and nest in, in, in the root, <coughs> in the branches. Jesus taught of, of the small mustard seed that become a great tree. It's this tree, this oak of righteousness, this strong tower, uh, that uh, you've become this uh, person that's trusted and loved and safe. Uh, I, I sense that uh, if if you haven't become him now, I sense uh, you'll become a person that women feel safe around. And uh, I sense that, uh, you know, as you uh, develop uh, T-shirts, as I pray for uh, more glory to uh, appear on your life than it is now, and I just pray that the glory in your life would go up, um, that uh, people just approach you and uh, share their life story with you. They just uh, come alongside of you and uh, share their pain and their hurts and their struggles. So uh, you've often had, if if I'm right, yeah, if I'm right, uh, you've often had people say to you after they've shared for twenty minutes, never told anyone that, and. Um, it's because of the glory that's on you. It's because you're this strong tower. You're just a representation of Jesus on earth. Um, people feel safe. People feel protected. Now, um, <clears throat> you just give advice. You, you just give counsel. You give direction. Uh, people ask you what they should do and what decisions they make. And <clears throat> you're a lot like me in this, that um, you find it... Uh, especially uh, a compliment and you feel um, very special when people ask you for advice and um, I sense the only way you can improve this is uh, for you to uh, there's a ministry called the Elijah House Ministries uh, and they're probably in every city in the world and uh, that was started by Lauren Sanford's dad um, 
and uh, you could go and train how to do inner healing and be a counselor that <coughs> that would allow you to become more effective in this role you could even have a stint part-time at being a part-time counselor now number three uh, this is all over my facebook and it's because i think i searched on it once uh, facebook just keeps on throwing this subject up but i can see you uh, through this strong tower sort of influence this strong tower sort of uh, anointing on your life this uh, glory on your life that uh, i can see becoming like a life coach yeah you can you can uh naturally uh intuitively see people's potential and you are helpfully uh, po positioned to guide people through words of wisdom to make uh, decisions so <coughs> a word of wisdom is a prophetic gift it's like uh, god's direction in a certain situation it's god's advice it's god's uh you know plan um kings in the old testament used to uh come to the prophet and say should we fight this battle and uh, the prophet would say yes or no <coughs> <coughs> then the prophet of god used to give the specific direction this is what you should do and the king and his army would go and do that specific direction and win the war so because of the prophet that the nation of Israel were winning their wars, uh, not so much their battle strength, but the the strength of the prophetic advice. So I can see you uh, one day, uh, maybe not full time, but I can see you having a dimension uh, in your life where you're a life coach and uh, you're giving people direction. Um, you also, uh, I can see you, um, developing the ability to be able to do these uh, blueprints and then help people uh, start and activate uh, some of uh, what you see in them you're able to choose which one a person's meant to do first and sort of counsel them into it um, leads me into uh, number four um, uh, and I, I get a sense that you've been pushing this away i get a sense that um, the word prophet scares you and worries you and you've just heard too many bad things about being a prophet so you've been like pushing this away uh once again i'm open to being wrong but i'm always open to being wrong but um get a sense you've almost been a jonah in this that um god's calling you and calling you and calling you to be a prophet and you've been saying, no, 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 that's not for me. And uh, so I've got potential to be a helpful prophetic voice. I sense you've been resisting. <coughs> Essentially, it's God's voice and God's friend. You're already uh, God's friend. Uh, you've already uh, become God's friend. Uh, you, you're close to God. And God sometimes just wants to speak. He just wants to uh, say his opinion. He just wants to have a voice. And um, you can say uh, in, in, in a YouTube video or in, in an article or a blog post, you can say, I sense God, if he was here, he'd be saying this. Uh, you could say that without saying it's a prophetic word. Um, you, you know, I, I, I'm close friends with Jesus. Uh, I'm close friends with jesus and uh, i've been talking to him uh, i sense he's feeling like this and and if he was speaking and i'm not saying this is a prophetic word but if he was speaking through me i, I sense he'd be saying something like this <coughs> <coughs> so that allows uh, god's prophetic voice to speak but it's uh, done in humility where people don't have to receive it uh, they can just assume you're saying it <clears throat> but around this prophetic gift this life coach uh, the, the one before is is going to revolve in 
and a couple of other ones uh, later on I started talk revolving I said something uh, in sort of Kiwi accent there for a sec so uh, God's calling you to be a prophet uh, I've got about five books on the prophetic and uh, I'd encourage you to uh, get them the 99 cents on Kindle and uh, you know, I, I encourage you to get them uh, I will say something when you're called to be a prophet uh, you don't have to um, necessarily um, uh, you don't have to uh, necessarily uh, um, be a big prophet you can just be like an ordinary prophet you don't have to uh, be uh, someone uh, awesome uh, you don't have to be uh, in front of the whole world you don't have to uh, be uh, someone uh, great uh, you can just uh, you can just uh, be a little prophet you can just be a little influence uh, so I encourage you to um, move towards that um, point number five you notice I got distracted there. I was just thinking of something. <coughs> so I just did a PayPal button on my website and uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, been what I thought it was and that distracted me. Sorry for that. Now, point number five, um, I think you've always, always uh, been a good intercessor. I think that uh, you've got a good uh, prayer relationship uh, with the Lord. You're very comfortable with prayer. And um, not maybe not a lot of people would know that, but I sense that um, uh, you're gonna. Well, God wants to move you out to be a leader in intercession, and I, I sense that He wants you to start like an intercession intercessory group, and um, and <coughs> <coughs> when you're really moving in this full potential i can see you uh teaching in a session in this group uh, i know a lot of women like to be in control uh, a lot of women like to uh run in accessory groups uh and uh, you may have uh uh conflicts with strong even jezebel sort of uh women here are uh, doing this but uh, you need to rise up in your authority and uh, encourage women but um sort of uh say i'm the boss you know i'm the one teaching and uh, you may find the inaccessory groups that you're teaching are 80 percent women that's fine but uh, don't let anyone take over uh the teaching of running the group uh you you do that yourself point number six i can see you um becoming a small group leader, like a home group uh, leader, um, and um, and and then uh, after you've uh, run a couple of, when you've run a home group successfully, I can see the Lord uh, moving you into becoming a home group organizer. That uh, that uh, teaching and encouraging, even writing a book and having YouTube videos on how to uh, start a small uh, home church and run a small group um because uh you, you know that uh, in these times the lord is moving us towards that and i, I think you'll be an integral part of of the growth of small groups and home groups um point number, number seven i can see you uh, having a business anointing uh, I see you uh, selling, um, setting up businesses and having a cash flow, developing a cash flow. And I sense that um, you're going to develop a cash flow to um, uh, <coughs> uh, um, basically uh, provide money to run and support other ministries that uh, you're going to grow in. Um, so I, I sense that uh, <coughs> you're not going to so much set up businesses just for business sake and uh, be wealthy and have money. 
percent is always going to be uh, ministry costs and costs to do uh, things. <coughs> <coughs> so when you grow to do your life coach business or even uh, uh, do counseling and life coaching, there may be costs associated with that. You may have other people being life coaches and counsellors. Uh, I feel that your business uh, endeavours uh, in the future will finance uh, the rent and other things uh, that you want to do in ministry. And uh, uh, number eight, I can see you. Uh, uh, I can see you in your prophetic gift, uh, being like a, a ministry advisor, um, like a coach. Uh, for people's ministries. Um, I particularly think you're going to become very strong in, in the prophetic gift word of wisdom, like getting uh, specific directional words of God for individuals and ministries and businesses. And uh, I think you're going to uh, become extraordinarily uh, gifted in getting specific, accurate uh, counsel of God for, for people and ministries and businesses. And um, I think um, this is going to be really used effectively uh, so that uh, you can uh, be, become like a ministry advisor and uh, people can come to you with their questions and the hard decisions and uh, decisions that they've got, important decisions that they've got to make and go forward. And you'll be able to hear God and hear God's heart and uh, help them make tough decisions. And uh, Help them get the right decision of God, not just uh, any decision. And uh, I sense uh, that you're going to be very effective. This, this might, might not may be something that your business uh, income supports. Uh, I sense when you set these businesses up, you're just going to set up a business that just generates income. Like I set up my T-shirt business uh, that I'm working on, my website to be set up. Once it's set up and uh, on the internet and it's got uh, people finding it on Google, it'll pretty much run itself and just be cash flow. Um, so I see you setting up businesses uh, to support uh, these other ministry endeavors. So uh, you wouldn't want to be a ministry advisor, for instance, and charging ministries <coughs> $20,000 an hour sure for your advice you'd want to uh, be able to uh, do something uh, and uh, and bless people and encourage people uh, in the way that uh, you can uh, and uh, not make it uh, too expensive for a small ministry for instance to have access to you um, point number nine uh, business coach as uh, you have plenty of business experience when, when you develop uh, plenty of uh, business experience I can see you um, coaching uh, businesses once again <clears throat> twofold I can see you coming out with uh, other business uh, ideas and uh, products and services that businesses could do I can see you prophetically getting ideas off the Lord uh, for businesses that'll make them money but once again, uh, I can see you uh, moving really strong in word of wisdom, which is directional sort of uh, directional sort of advice from God. And uh, I can see you being uh, the person that they run to, the person <coughs> that they come to, like their strong tower that can uh, give them uh, the direction, uh, the exact, the specific directions that they need to. Uh, uh, take and make um, in important decisions and important areas, strategic decisions that are very important. Um, I feel that uh, they'll be able to lean on you. Uh, so just in in people's personal lives and ministry lives and in business lives, I can see you uh, developing this really strong uh, word of wisdom, prophetic gift. Um, and, uh, and and people paying for it, people being dependent on it. Of course, when you're doing the ministry advising, it's more um, pro bono, it's more uh, free or uh, not costing a lot. When you're doing it for business, 
uh, business uh, people will be quite prepared to pay you a lot of money uh, for, for the decisions. I get a sense if, if you're a friend of uh, Shane's, uh, I, I get a sense that uh, you're a lot like me. <coughs> <coughs> I get a sense that you really love God and you really love people and uh, nothing about you is about money. And, uh, and uh, the, the reason why God would raise you up to be a business coach is so that uh, Christians in business would really thrive because they're coming to you. But even secular businessmen uh, would, would be able to finance you uh, with, with quite a lot of money uh, and you make uh, them decisions that make them millions of dollars that, 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 they, that you're like the secret uh, recipe uh, for success. And uh, they keep on coming back uh, because uh, they get a whole lot more wealthy coming to you than making their own decisions. And I think that the Lord is going to train you up and give you and, and sharpen your gift of word of wisdom uh, to such a point that it can be just a, a big earner of income. And uh, <coughs> because it is, uh, you... you uh, you can generate some income to do some great work in ministry. Um, there could be another 10 or 20 uh, things on your blueprint. Uh, some people have about 50 and, uh, and I, I can't see them at the moment, but <coughs> I can see uh, myself seeing them in the future. And uh, I sense that the enemy doesn't like this because he's uh, raising up this uh, prophetic cough of mine that seems to uh, always activate when I'm saying something important. So um, sort of a blessing uh, to do that. I remember uh, that uh, when I was called to do Shane's blueprint, I had a total depression and then uh, I sent it back. And then, uh, then the next time he sent for the blueprint, I've got another bad depression. I finally got through it and did the blueprint and then the depression left halfway through me doing the blueprint. I realized that there was a lot of major attack and I sense that because you're Shane's friend and important to Shane uh, that I've, I've copped some attack on this one. But firstly, uh, Satan saying you're totally off base, this isn't right. And secondly, with, with this cough, I will say this is the first time I've done something since I've had music and turned the music off. And uh, that was like a sign from God that I'm really hearing. So number 10, <coughs> uh, I can see you running some sort of agency. Now, an agency is like, um, you can have uh, a casual work agency, you can have a dating agency, you can have a model agency. It's something that represents a whole lot of people. It's not their business, but you get them work. Um, and I can, I, I don't know what sort of agency it is. Uh, and I'm hoping that you know what it is, um, but I can see you doing that in the future too, having some sort of agency. And uh, so I pray that this has really blessed you and encouraged you and uh, that uh, you're, you're blessed by this and, uh, and, uh, I hope that uh, Shane or yourself uh, can give me some uh, uh, feedback on this. Uh, if uh, you're a member of YouTube, um, uh, I'd love uh, you to <coughs> post a comment under this video, which would encourage other people. But if not, uh, can you ask Shane to post a comment uh, because uh, it'll encourage other people. So God bless you and keep you. And, uh, and I, I wish you all the best. Uh, uh, if you want to practice your prophecy gift on me, uh, you can send me a prophecy. God bless.